Let's go over the printing feature for the actual drawings. Um, there's, there's a, you'll notice that there's a few different ways to print. Uh, I can click print right here and whatever drawing I'm looking at on the screen will open up in a preview window. I can also go over to print reports and I can print a quarter scale drawing or an eighth scale drawing and or I can have it fit to page. So there's three options. Now notice this says one per page. So I can actually pick the elevations I want to print or I can select them all and have them all print. But these aren't necessarily shop drawing prints. They're not uh, all it's doing is printing what's on the screen or, or the individual elevations. So we haven't applied any of the I guess shop drawing settings to our elevations. So when we go down to drawing settings um, this is the other way that the, the uh, printing is affected or manipulated. So here we can actually preset the scale of the print. We can preset the sheet size and then we can also tell it to maximize elevations per sheet or have one per sheet. So if I, uh, if I don't want to just print one elevation per sheet I would want to go in here and select maximize and then it tries to fit as many elevations on a page as it can based on the scale and the page size. So this is important if you want to um, print a little differently than just printing one elevation per page. So there's only one elevation in this job but um, but the other thing I want to show with this is, is how each thing kind of works. So if we hit print right here it's always going to show us a preview. So this is our preview. It should default to landscape. Um, in this case it's always going to to scale to fit. So it's not necessarily picking the scale that we've set in drawing settings. It's just going to fit it to the page. So if it's a huge elevation, it's going to shrink it to fit the page. If it's a small elevation, it'll expand it to fit the page. So it's simple just to click uh, print right now and then it fills the, fills the sheet and it's proportional but it's not to scale like quarter or eighth or three quarters or whatever. So um, that's the quickest way to print a drawing and that's just printing whatever you're looking at. And then back here in print reports, if I want to go straight to the printer for all my quarter scale drawings, I can click print and I can click print preview after that. Now in this screen, anything that is selected will get printed. So you might want to get in the habit of saying unselect all and then select print or preview for the different things you want to print at that time. Um, so if you don't do that, it's going to go through and print each thing that you have selected, which can be a little unnerving if you're not ready for that. <laughs> so, so in this case, if I want to preview, and I hit print preview for quarter scale graphics, it's going to come up with a list of elevations. So this is where I would check the elevations I want to print, or I would say check all, and it would go through each one individually and print it one per sheet. So now this, it's, al it's already set to a certain scale. So it's going to print at quarter scale every time I do that. And same with this, eighth scale and fit to page. So the advantage here is if you've got 20 elevations, you want to do one per sheet, and you want to just send them all to the printer, then click print here, click print preview. It'll open up that list of elevations, hit select all, and then, pr and then OK, and then they start printing. So. The other way to do it is, uh, so those are two different ways. Now the third way to do it is we go to shop drawings. And that's where it's picking up our settings from the drawing settings window. So it's going to pick up our scale, our sheet size, and whether or not they're maximized. So in this case I can actually say print all, which means it's going to print all the sets. Um, so it would go through each tab, like if I go to next set here, and next set here. So it would go through each of those and print all the sets. Or if I just hit print, it's going to bring up our preview window and this is where I can actually affect the scale on the fly. So it's already scaled it for quarter scale, but if I decide, oh, I want this to be half scale because it's a small elevation, then I can change this setting right here for my drawing units. and the essence is the smaller the number for drawing units, the bigger the drawing is. So if I want it to be half scale, 
on my printer I'm going to change this to 24 and I'm going to say update preview so notice how much bigger it is and I can center it to paper here and now it's centered so uh, so that would be half scale so let's go to uh, let's say eighth scale if I just want this to be eighth scale the number is going to be a lot bigger for drawing units so it's let's say 95.5 on my printer is eighth scale and most people's printers should be the same um, but you could always tweak that number a little bit to get if you're using a scale ruler to get it exactly right on your printer if it's not to begin with so notice it um, and I can hit center to page again notice that it's doing that so the other settings you want to make sure are set here is full preview and extends these two settings if they're not set right the drawing might not show up correctly in this window here so it's already set that way but if somehow it gets changed double check that you've got extends and full preview and then I always like to click center of page but it depends on where you want your drawing so that was a uh, eighth scale and then one other one uh, oh and then just to go back to quarter scale it was 47 or thereabouts so go back to that hit center page I guess it doesn't center when you change your scale so that's uh, that's how the scaling works if you want to do it on the fly through the preview window but you'll notice if I go in and change drawing settings and I go to let's say 3 8 scale and I click OK and then I go to shop drawings it's going to recreate the DWG files at the new scale that I've that I've selected. When I hit print, my eighth scale factor for drawing units is now 31.82. So you'll you'll see it's picked up that setting from the drawing settings window, and I'll center it to page a little better than it was, um, and make sure it's inches too, because when it's sometimes if it gets switched to millimeter, it's going to mess things all up too. So now it's just ready to print. Uh, it goes to the printer at the scale you've selected, and uh, all is good. So for details, let me show you something quick on details. Let's go back to drawing settings. I'm going to go to one detail per sheet, and I'm going to go back to quarter scale, and I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go to. So whenever you change something in drawing settings, you would have to hit shop drawings again for it to pick up those changes for the actual way it's creating DWG files. So I'm going to go to next set so I can see my detail. There's my detail. I'm going to hit print. And see how it's, it's trying to make it quarter scale. So I don't really want that to be quarter scale. So I can, I can hit scale to fit, which means it fills the page. Or I can actually change it to something else by saying by typing in a value. So let's say I make it 1 to 2. Now that's a more reasonable size. So remember, the higher the number for drawing units, the smaller the drawing is. So if I make it like 1 to 10, we're not going to be able to see it at all. It's going to be microscopic, right? But if I, if I make it 1 to 0.5, then it's probably going to be pretty huge. So it's even bigger than what fits on the page. But 1 to 2 is a reasonable size for uh, a detail. And if you had multiple sh uh, details on a page that were actually kind of configured correctly, like uh, you know, all in a nice box kind of configuration, um, they would probably fit with that size. So again, the relationship is the higher the number in drawing units, the smaller the drawing. So we can even make that 3, update the preview, and it's a little smaller. So keep that in mind if you want to kind of uh, scale your drawings on the fly, especially the details in this case. Because as you recall, a quarter scale drawing for an elevation is actually 1 to 47. So there's quite a difference when you're dealing with uh, details, just because you've got inches versus feet, more or less. Um, so that's it. I thought that would be a, a good thing to show you about printing details.